Hello, hello, hello. Joy, joy, joy. Peace, peace, peace. Gratitude, love, love, love. Oh, gratitude, gratitude, gratitude. <laughs> you guys have no idea. Like being here under the rain is triggering some awarenesses that before they were literally happening to me. And they are literally happening to me at the moment. But I'm learning patience. I, I, as soon as I came here, one of the first animals I saw was a turtle. Patience. I see a lot of ducks. <laughs> the ducks spring, you know. Let's go back to the point. Day number 33. Day number 33 of activating our prosperity mindset. This is me tapping you guys into my thinking and how I see life and how I flow. Okay. Day number 33, I want to make people think when you go through challenges or through things. So, okay. When you go through challenges and when you go through things and things don't work out for you, how do you react? Before, I used to be like the chaser. I used to not, I used to overthink. And I realized that overthinking, because I got sick with that, okay? I got sick with vasculitis. It's a rare disease. Only do for stress and overthinking. And I realized that God is sometimes kind of testing me to see if I'm going to repeat the same patterns or if I'm actually going to get into my heart, get out of my head, stop thinking, and connect to my heart and talk to him, talk to the most high. That's what I'm doing here. I can't you guys not. That's what I'm doing here. That's why I don't mind the rain. That's why I don't mind being here. I am not kidding. That's how the, you know, the little lake here, it's in the water. My, <laughs> my pants are wet. I don't have no shoes, but my shoes are upside down. I don't mind. That's all good. I don't really mind the rain and I'm okay with it. How do you react when things don't work out for you? Do you force things in life? That's the checkup for day number 33. I want you to ask yourself, how do you act in life? when things don't work out for you how do you react to life or do you force things in life that's the question and the checkup for day number 33. why am i going into this one of the first lessons i had to learn in one of my first relationships is that this relationship this person even you know, my dad called me out on this. My dad literally told me, he's like, you are so desperate for a relationship and for love that you're okay with this person passing in front of you with another person and is showing you exactly who they are and you don't mind and you're going to take them. That's what real love is. This person literally passed with another girl in front of me when we were supposedly dating and the day, a few days before we had told our dad. And I realized that this man, I chased them. This guy, and then the next relationship, I did the same. And then the last relationship, we realized that when we chase things, got a rejection. And this is wisdom from somebody that has gone through life. A rejection is God's protection. When, when things do not work out, it is God's protection. A closed door does not mean that you have to force something in life. It actually means that you have to have the wisdom you have to know your self-worth and learn to walk away. And you get to say, I know that all is as it should be. That a rejection, it's God's protection. And that things may not be as they seem. Connect to God, source creator. Get out of your head. Don't make problems. Don't overthink. Don't chase people. And get into your heart. Connect to source. Prayer is one of the coolest things that I think we human beings have forgotten. I pray and that's me talking to God. And then I come and I meditate so I could allow God, the most high God, source creator, to talk to me and give me guidance so I don't make the same mistakes I've done in the past. Love, love, love. Joy, joy, joy. Peace, peace, peace. And gratitude. How do you react when things don't work out for you? <laughs> 